dreamer place Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be looking at Guild Dungeon 819 and we'll be fighting against Seek. Okay, so for six passive, he reduces damage by 50% and reflects it back onto the attacker and increases his own defense by 200%. And, he, and for his unsealed, he inflicts 600% on one enemy, ignores defense and stuns. Lastly, for his racket, he inflicts 300% on the enemy that has physical attack, increased damage it takes, and removes buffs. So that would be Taka. So you have to keep this in mind, especially when I'm going to talk about Taka's equipment. So this is my team used for this run. Some of the equipment is quite specialized, so do take note. I'll be explaining. Such as uh, for Ares, she needs damage reflect. Okay, and it's very important if you have a willful ring for her. If you do have life steal, even better. Okay, so double life steal uh, and damage reflect. But willful ring is the most important. For Rachel, uh, she has one speed attack. One speed weapon only and also a willful ring and also damage reflect. Okay, so do take note that because she only has one speed weapon because she needs to be lower, she needs to have lower speed than Ares. And this will ensure that Ares will go first. Ta uh, Platine has a uh, not important, he can be totally bare. Okay, he can be totally bare. But for if you want to be safe, you can actually give him a willful ring just to be safe. Jewels are not very important. For Eileen, I gave her life steal and double life steal basically. No willful ring. If you do have a willful ring also, that will be good. Double life steal just tries to um, kind of increase her sustenance, her sustainability in the run. So for Taka, finally, he has a willful ring, okay? Not a life steal. Willful Ring and increase the crit damage by 34%. Willful Ring because is Seek will always target him, so you want uh, Willful Ring to protect. And he also has damage reflect instead of another jewel such as PV attack or whatsoever, lethal rate. Okay, so it's better if your guild buff has lethal rate and this will ensure that Taka will keep having keep doing lethal damage. So first off is casting Phoenix and Blaze. These are very standard protocol that you should already be doing. And if you still don't understand why, feel free to ask, okay? But try to learn, okay? And Blaze actually over here will boost Aries' Awakening Gauge such that she will get her Awaken passive up the moment Blaze is used. And this is also because Aries was the first person, first hero that did her skill attack. Speed attack I mean. Okay, so after this, basically it's really just going all out with Taka skills, resetting Taka skills, using Taka skills. I would highly suggest that you use his Awaken skill when both his skills are on cooldown and there's no way to reduce it anymore. Okay. Such as in this case. And do not, you only have 3 minutes, so please don't take any risk. Try to use his awakening skill, maybe try to time it nicely, okay? Such that you don't actually not use it. So you see, Racket always hits Taka, so that's why the Willful Ring is very useful. So Unsealed will tend to hit Ares, which she, where she will counter and cool, give Taka cooldown. Uh, this is basically 6 speed attack, followed by Ares' speed attack. And then Unsealed targets Ares. So this is quite... there was no way for me to sneak in and attack, but ideally if she could... If Taka could sneak in and attack here, it would be great. So I also forget to, forgot to mention that Platine is here because Platine's passive allows you to in, do increased damage by 80% on universal type heroes and Sig is a universal type hero, okay? So basically it's to optimize and maximize your damage output as much as you can. Step aside. Step aside. 
unforgettable pain will be bestowed unto you. So I have 10 seconds left. And thankfully, I used Crash It um, from Aries because I really wanted her to try to sneak in a speed attack to cool down. And thankfully, I was able to do one final totem test. Okay. So yeah, this is my run. 54.5 million. Uh, my guild new leader did 58 million so definitely there's room for improvement okay so i hope this video has helped you if you do find it useful do give it a like do subscribe to my channel and i'll be back with more guild dungeon runs after the season ends because i cannot do any more runs now that my guild has completed okay thank you and see you